another serious video alert. <laughs> when you should be hard on yourself and when you should give yourself a break. There's often times when we're way too hard on ourselves and there's often times when you give ourselves a break and both can be good or bad. First example is you've worked hard, you can have one. And yes, give yourself a break. Give yourself one, like you said. If you're going into the cupboards and you see a chocolate bar or a Toblerone or you go for ice cream and you're like, you know what? I worked my ass off this week. I'm going to have one. Then yes, have one. Give yourself a break. But I would tell you is that don't give yourself a pass to eat them all. You said one, not them all. And just because you had one bad thing doesn't necessarily mean that you're day is completely lost or your week is completely lost. It means that you get the one, you stay consistent, you stay strict on yourself, you give yourself the pass by having the one, but then you be hard on yourself and saying, that's it. Second example, you tell yourself, I only lost five pounds. Now I want you to give yourself a break because it's actually hard to gain five pounds and keep it on. Your body always wants to find a balance. So it's even harder to lose it because your body's already been in a weight gaining mode. So if you only lose five pounds, you got to understand that that's five pounds that you could have gained. So you got to look at five going to zero and then losing five, gaining five, getting to zero and losing five. That's like 10, right? So you got to understand that you've got to give yourself a pass because you've done a lot of the right things to start the process of putting you into the right path. So at this point, you can give yourself a pass because a win is a win. Where you need to be hard on yourself is saying, okay, I lost my pounds, this is awesome. Now you need to be hard on yourself and saying, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. You have to be hard on yourself and say that I ain't going back and I'm going to continue all the good habits that I built up to lose the five, to lose the next. Third example, I need a rest day, or I need a rest day, or yeah, I'm taking a rest day. Now you can give yourself a break if you have worked your ass off prior. It's just like you at work, okay? Your work allows you two, four, six weeks a year off a year, uh, per year right? And the only way that they're going to give you this time off is if you actually did work for them. Like if you want to get paid for paid time off, you would have had to put in enough hours where they're gifting you holiday pay. So yes, you can give yourself a break and take a rest day, but only if you've been working your ass off prior. If you literally took two weeks off and then you come to the gym on Monday and you know you pump out a bunch of you know you do a great workout and then Tuesday you we wake up and you're sore you don't get a rest day man I'm sorry you got to get your ass back in the gym doesn't necessarily mean that you have to crush yourself but it means that you got to get the body moving like movement will always stimulate healing doesn't mean you have to go and lift the thousand pounds that you're normally used to go and lift 10 pounds something is always better than nothing and you absolutely cannot give yourself a break if you know you're just being lazy. Because if you're just being lazy and you just, eh, you know what, I'm just gonna take today off, I'm gonna sleep in, I got a busy and a night schedule, so you know I don't wanna do this and that. Like, don't give yourself a pass if you're doing it for lazy reasons, okay? So give yourself a break if you've worked your ass off, but 100% never give yourself a break if you're just being lazy. So there you have it, guys. Give the video a like right now and understand when it's good to give yourself a pass, but also understand when you need to be hard on yourself.